Ah, oh, gentlemen. What have we here? More than one of you. I think you know that, Master. Ah, oh, you thought I brought you here. <laughs> I'm afraid you'd be wrong. We're not normally wrong. Valid point. Shh, listen to me. Ah, you must be the new one. I can't say I've met you yet. Or you. I met some of the others outside as well. Lovely chaps. What have you done to them? I haven't done anything to them. I'm here to help you. That's the biggest load of rubbish I've heard all day, and I've been with my other selves. Ah, how are you keeping? I'm so glad. Now everyone, I did not bring you here. But someone did, and we're here to find out who. Now, while the others repair the gateway, you three are happy to come with me and find out who brought you here. Oh, if we must. Grace! Stop saying Grace! Yeah, it is very annoying. Now, I don't have time for your usual tricks and trying to deceive me. We're here to do a job to find out who brought you here. And brought me here too. I want to know, you want to know, and then we can all get back. Very well, let's go then. Uh, lads, we've got a problem. What is it? You might want to come and see for yourself. That's impossible. How is that possible? If only I knew. It's him! <laughs> I must say, even this has surprised me. Ah, doctors. And my future self. You have made your way here. Well, it wasn't difficult. Shut up, he's explaining. I will indeed explain. <laughs> You're my past self. I don't remember ever coming here. That was the purpose. I am here to bring the doctors together to change time. If I keep them here long enough, their timelines will alter and time will be forever in disarray. But, hang on, how, can't he re how comes he can't remember? Yes, quite. That was the purpose of me bringing him here. To wipe his memory of this time. I have brought you doctors here to alter the timelines. But I have brought him here so he does not remember that he was once here. Why would you do that? Because I cannot have him remember another failure if this goes wrong. So that's it. That's it. You bring us here just to mess up the timeline. And bring him here just to erase bits of his memory. But if time changes, I won't remember anyway. It is a precaution, nevertheless. You plan to change time. You can't change the timeline, you can't. Well said. But why are you on our side? Because I have enough of my own evil plans to carry out without my earlier self interfering. But I have already interfered. Then that stops. Right now. Well said. Now how do we stop him? Leave that to me, gentlemen. Leave that to me. A fight to determine the winner. A fight to decide whether the doctor stay here or are returned. You're my earlier self. You don't know of what is to come. But I will defeat the doctors one day. Let them go back. No, we will fight for it. <laughs> you think you'll win? I will. Then we fight. No, stop, wait. You can't fight, none of you can. It will cause a paradox if you do. But he's brought he you here safely. Yes, but we've always had something watching over us. All the time when we're brought together. In this case, it's him. Before, it's been the Time Lords. 
someone's always been watching over us or the events have been accidental. We're time travellers, so the timelines are different for us. We can touch, and even sometimes we can fight. I certainly like to fight that scarecrow man. But you two cannot, you two are different. You haven't time travelled as much, and if you're fighting, your own rules won't protect you. Well, basically, it's quite simple. He's just saying that... He's just saying... That you can't fight. Or a paradox will begin. Precisely. Well said, gentlemen. You cannot fight. Then allow me... Then allow me to send everyone back, Master. Very well. Right. One of you bring the other doctors here. We'll send you back... We'll send you back, and I'll defeat you another day. You can try. Well, everyone, time for you all to go back. Indeed. Now, I presume you've reconfigured the gateway, like I asked? I have. So have I. The gateway is now reconfigured, and you can all step through. You will all go home. And what about that young man over there? He'll be dealt with. Off you go. Well, farewell everyone. Until the next time. Well, I guess this is it. I'll be seeing you all again, no doubt. Goodbye, fancy pants, scarecrow. Have fun wherever you're travelling now. Careful not to trip. Trip over what? I don't know. Your shoelaces, perhaps? Trip over anything, really, wouldn't you? Are you calling me clumsy? Yes, I am. Um, gentlemen, you better be going. After you. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Well, it looks like it's my turn. I must say, I'm glad you changed your scarf. Thank you very much. I didn't really think that scarf and coat combination worked. Just go. See you later. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Aren't you going? I'll follow you. Good. Bye, everyone. Doc, don't forget me. Well, it's been lovely meeting you all. See you later. Grace. Grace. Well. I'll hang about a bit, I suppose. Do you want to go next? Might as well do. Don't see any harm. Ta-ra, everyone. Well, now Spock's gone. I guess it must be my go. Right, see you later, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Actually, I might just have a walk around all my... Comp no, no, no. I must go. I must go. Just go. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Did I say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. At last. Well, I think we better return the masters. Quite to my thinking as well. Well, if they walk through there, the gateway still works in the same way to take them back to where they're meant to be. I shall go to Gallifrey. And I'll see you again, Doctor. Soon. Unfortunately. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I will return. Goodbye. See you later, everybody. Goodbye. Just us. I'll see you again someday, I'm sure. Well, I look forward to it, young man. See you later. Bye. See ya. Ah, well... I guess that's it.